Hello all, welcome to Auto Aspects. This is a short video series, about the basic terms in vehicle dynamics. In this video we can understand, the basics of, slip angle. So what is slip angle? To answer, let us consider, a vehicle subjected to cornering. Here the difference between, the direction, in which the vehicle is traveling. And the direction, that the body of the vehicle is pointing. Is termed as slip angle. In other words, the angle between, a rolling wheel's actual direction of travel, and, the direction towards which it is pointing, is defined as slip angle. To be more precise, consider a tire, here the ratio of the longitudinal velocity vector Vx, and, the lateral velocity vector Vy, forms an angle called slip angle. So this is how, the term slip angle is defined. Now let us understand in detail. Consider a tire, which carries load W, and heading in a straight path. When the tire, takes a left turn, the centrifugal force, Fc, acts on the right side of the wheel center. As the centrifugal force acts on the right side of the tire, this makes the tire to skid. To prevent, the skidding of tire, the lateral force, Fy, acts on the bottom part of the tire on the left side. Which is basically, a friction force which resists the tire from skidding. So, let us see, how these forces, plays a vital role at the tire contact patch. Consider the contact patch of a tire, where we have a longitudinal force Fx. Lateral force Fy, and the centrifugal force Fc. Here the treads at the contact patch are normal when it travels on a straight path. During cornering or in a left turn, the treads has an impact on their direction. This is mainly due to the impact of longitudinal force and lateral force acting on the tire. Because of these forces, the treads at the contact patch changes is shown here. A non-zero slip angle, arises due to deformation of tire. As the tire rotates, the friction, between the contact patch and the road, results in, the individual tread elements, remaining stationary with respect to road. This deflection tends to slip angle. So, the straight moving tire, is turned during cornering, with a small steering angle delta, this deforms, the contact patch treads, and leads to lateral force generation. These, deformation happens at the contact patch, making tangent to this direction, we will get the actual heading direction of the tire. And the angle between this, and the tire pointing direction is termed as the slip angle. Mathematically, it can state it as the arctan of, lateral velocity vector by longitudinal velocity vector. So, why are we more concerned, about the slip angle, it is mainly due to the, understeer, and, oversteer behavior. Yes, if the front slip angle, is more than rear slip angle, then the vehicle exhibits understeer behavior. At the same time, if the rear slip angle, is more than the front slip angle, then the vehicle exhibits oversteer behavior. So that's a basic information on slip angle. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Professor Boffin, signing off. Cheers.